Oh my god. It's the new season of Selling Sunset. Season 5. Maddie, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. In fact, I think I need some essential oils. <laughs> Can you go to your car and get some essential oils for me to calm down? I do have essential oils in my car because I'm from California. Wow. Wow. You don't need essential oils in your car. They don't melt. It's good. I get stressed out sometimes. It's a de-stress when I got it at Veda. You're just like Heather. I am. I you am. You know what? You really are. I really am. <laughs> and just like Heather, I think she thought when she was saying, do you think it's hot because it's taboo? It's kind of taboo. Do you think she thought when she was talking about that the, the word taboo came from the game? That she played. Probably <laughs> that. Because I don't think she saw the musical. No. Or the fact that the word taboo existed before the musical and the game. I don't think she knew that. Because, <laughs> y'all, Heather, Heather's not the surface tool in this shit. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. She's quite pretty, though. I'm excited to see her wedding. I think yeah. that's what this season ends with her wedding. This is selling fucking sunset. It's selling sunset. Season five. Episode, episode. if y'all remember, this is episode one and two. We do both of them together. <gasps> well, we used to, we're going to have to see. We'll have to see how this goes. We used to, y'all, episodes of Selling Suns, Selling Sunset used to be shorter. They were like 25-minute episodes. Yeah. These are longer. They are. So if they end up doing longer. fucking, if we start doing hour and a half podcast, we're breaking it up. I agree. So for right now, though, we're going to do episode one and episode two is in one episode. If this it is on the podcast, episode. this is on the free feed for everybody. So, but this is normally on the five dollar tier of our Patreon. Yeah. First, to, first, this episode is for free. You're going to get us to talk about the return. Now we end. We only ended in January, but they filmed season four and five back to back mm -hmm. because of Miss Kova. <laughs> no, she's not funny anymore. Ain't nobody selling a house with I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but I will notice, Miss Kova, we don't hear any mention of you <laughs> throughout the <this> show. <laughs> it's she's, like they're ignoring you. They're completely ignoring her. <clears throat> um, which is fine for me. So I'm not gonna lie. I try to. I'm very much like, let's be real. Let's face problems head on. Which I keep meaning. To, I want to bring this up in the free show, y'all. Who is it? I want to make sure I got it right. If you haven't listened to, it's only on Spotify. I don't is this love about that. selling sunset. But if you haven't listened to Brene Brown's no. conversation, she's. It's on Dare to Lead, but it's also on Unlocking Us. Did she talked to Christine Quinn. No, it's with. <laughs> uh, it's with the guy named. It's the one with. Scott Sonenshine. And it's oh, she's talked to him before. She's yeah. talked to him before, but it's basically the whole thing is why we'll never be the same. And about I, the pandemic. And and a reason I thought of it, because like Christine Quinn, it's about how while we'll, about everybody, all the stress and everything we're having of going back to work and doing yeah. that. Totally a great listen. Thanks and, for bumming out selling sunset. Well, no, but what but what <laughs> Don't I, dampen my my high from I'm this not, show. I'm not I'm gonna say I'm normally a realist, and I want to talk about what's really going on in the world. It was nice to just turn on this show, oh. and you just forget all of your problems. You forget that there's a pandemic. This show you is candy. You just forget that there's shit going on in the war in, in, in Europe. Like You just kind of can take I, your mind off I things. do want to say, we've just been doing the ultimatum, and I cannot tell you what a different show that is than this one. Um, that show takes itself very seriously. If you ever watch The Hills or The Real Orange County, it's the same producer, Adam Velo. Uh, and if this is your first time, first of all, if this is your first time listening to Selling Sunset, you need to go back because th this, this, oh you were dev actually, you really, I haven't watched since the first season. You have. Yeah. I only started watching episode four of the, or season four, season four. To last season, but I will say, if you didn't watch, you don't have to, but you kind of need to watch season four just to know because this are. is kind of like a part two of this. And oh, you need to know what Christine did. You need to know why people aren't talking, and you get it all from season four. It's actually a good place to jump in. I I promise you these, you guys, and we you, were, we we recap that. And if you're on the five dollar tier on the Patreon Supercast, you get it all. You could watch if you wanted to. You could watch the entire season one, two, three, four, four days. And it's bingeable. It's like 
you're tell you, your children you could be, sorry. You could be cleaning your house or something, uh, and you could watch. And it's that kind of thing. You don't have to pay. You don't have to pay attention to everything. It's not. It's not full focus television. No, it's not. It's not at it's all. It's not ninety day, uh, which is full focus. It for kind me. of is. Well, we, um, yeah, I think for us, I think for a lot of people, you know what? No, we get your messages. Some of you are fully focused. Um. Anyway, y'all, this show, this show, I, I, I can't. I, I was the one who basically dragged him into this show. You still like it more than me, but I do oh. like it. I do like it. And y'all, I know it's fake as shit, but the how fat the, what I what I love is cause we were talking about the ultimatum and how everything about the ultimatum there, there were no rules. Like we, it was, a, it was kind of a reality show about relationships, but it kind of wasn't because we were kind of fucking with people. This is a show about selling real estate where. Real estate is not important at all. No. It is about the drama that happens behind the scenes. But like a good reality show, the rules of reality television are so exquisitely followed that we kind of know what's going to happen next, like a soap opera. Yeah. It's comforting. Well, I think that's what a lot – you know what's going to happen. There's there's never been a Disney animated movie where we go – they died <laughs> at the end. Like, there's no sixth sense Disney animated mm-hmm. movie. We all know, but yet we love those movies right. and we can watch them over and over and over it's again. It's tropes. We we enjoy tropes that yeah. we already know. We know that Chriselle is going to uh, say something. It's going to kind of find her way, and then Christine's going to slap her in the face and do something mean. Yes, we know Mary's going to come into a scene on a complete Adderall high. Acting, yeah. <laughs> acting like acting and yes. and acting and we, like nothing's wrong. And we know Maya is gonna like cut to the real shit and <laughs> ask about sex and be like, "Yeah, that's not gonna work." Oh. And we know Heather's gonna forget where she is or the, the, drown in a, like a wild turkey outside by opening her the mouth. The purple, we the purple, the purple. <laughs> People we still don't know fully how they're gonna be because they're still new. Is Emma's to, Emma's back. She I do, love her this I season. Love Emma. I for, I love her. She's really I love we, her. We 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 had different thoughts. I I considered herself like like Christine. I can cons- like aspiring drag queen Christine Quinn or flightless prehistoric bird Christine Quinn. Mm-hmm. Uh, Emma also has that flightless bird quality where she yep. has like a hairdress. Yes, or or like a kind of a walking mop. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um. But Emma, Emma's got a different personality. We see, see more. She's not different, but we see more of her personality this. More of her. This and season. we're not get it too much, but I'm very excited about Chelsea. Yeah. Who She's I call gonna, Christine 2.0. Well, I looked. I y'all don't come at me because I feel. But this is. I think they're going to call themselves this because I looked at the. Um, the descriptions of the show. Yeah. They start calling themselves blonde, b- blonde Barbie and black Barbie. Of course they do. That's what they start calling them themselves. Um, of course they're best friends. It. I'm. They're the same. They're same. the same. Time time. time, time. time, time. I'm so excited that I, if you would ask me if they needed a new person, I'd be like, no, there's too many people. And I went, she's no, perfect. As soon as I saw her, <laughs> when I saw her walking, as soon as I saw her and now I've seen, I'd seen the promo shot and I'm like, Oh, there's a black woman. It, and, yeah. and I, and I, and I saw the promo and Which I, and selling sunset predominantly has not been at all. Oh no. They, they, they have selling Tampa y'all, which is the same production company, but I, I've, been, I've heard that show's kind of snooze. It is. And it, and it had the first two episodes had potential. People said it got better. Like I was fully prepared to make it a bi curious and we were gonna cover it, but I was like, I can't get into we it. We talked about doing the full thing. Yeah. I bet you selling OC is gonna be good. You know, Maybe. I, I, have they announced that yet? No. You know they're going to though, because he's already talking. No, no, no. They, they they have announced the date, but they're already talking oh, about so it. Oh, so they are doing the show yeah. of it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost certainly. It's gonna be cool because y'all people, as y'all know from Housewives, people in Orange County are fucking crazy. But uh, Chelsea, as soon as I saw uh, saw her, I saw I'm like Christine's like, oh my god, I love you already. I was like, yes, there yeah. are two of them now. There are two of them. It's like when the it's like when Snow White and then the uh, Snow White and uh, the Evil Queen from uh, 
uh, are the evil Riveting. queen from Snow? No, it's like when <laughs> Maleficent, when you and I used to do a thing of Maleficent and the oh, evil yeah. queen from Snow White that get together. That took a long time to get to. Welcome to my days with you. Wake up. Wake her up. All right, let's do this, y'all. They're in Mykonos. 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 Looks gorgeous. What's this episode called? I didn't write it down. Game changer. Ga- That's Chrishell. She's the game changer. Chris- yeah. Hashtag game changer. Chelsea's a game changer, you mean. Or Chrishell's a game changer. Chrishell. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Why would Chelsea be the game changer? I didn't know. I didn't know what you were saying. Yes, Chrishell's no, a game changer. Whole, see, the whole scene where 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 Chrishell is the game changer because she's changing Jason to be a guy who would yeah. settle down. Spoiler alert, because it's already Spoiler around. alert, they're not together They're anymore. not together anymore. <laughs> So they're not together anymore, and the reason being, it was a very nice— He wasn't ready for kids. He wasn't ready for kids, and she literally made a statement saying, he's a wonderful guy, we're still friends. It's amicable. But she said, men don't have a biological clock, and they can wait to have kids, and women don't have that option. Yeah, so which is true. She wants to get knocked up, y'all, and She's like, babies. She even said on Instagram, Instagram and Instagram, what is Instagram? That's a good drag queen name. Uh-huh, it is. Instagram, your looks— we're not the best. I bought a lot of stuff off of you. Now sashay away. <laughs> Hold on, I've got one more ad though. What, a, <laughs> what about this knife that sharpens itself? Oh, God damn you, Instagram! <laughs> I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this. Instagram. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. No, it's not at all. Just carry a little thing, and you know, it's got it's a one note joke. Yeah, I need to shut yeah, up. I was like. <laughs> At least I have some perspective about my one note jokes. Yeah. You never do. I have to call them out. Uh huh. Anyway, um, so where was I? Uh, Greece. We're, we're in Mykonos. Yes. And y'all, the whole crowd, Chriselle, Mary, Romaine, Romaine, Jason, Brett. And some chippy named Tina, who Tina. we've never met before. <laughs> never met Tina. We're not going to meet Tina. Well, she's Brett's girlfriend. I. It looks like it's new. She looks like Mary 2.0. She kind of does. I keep getting them confused. Yeah. Um, so she has more tattoos than Mary. But basically, they're in Mykonos. They're, what so they, what the, Mary and Chriselle are the, talking, and Chriselle says, you know, it's nice to be ourselves. And, um, and she said, which, by the way, thank you for helping us. And Mary's like, you're welcome. So, y'all, we find out Mary knew this from the get-go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they, basically, you guys, you guys, they hid this through most of last season mm-hmm. uh, when when it was happening. Mm-hmm. Right. Chriselle was like, we just needed time. If y'all don't remember, Chriselle was married to Justin Hartley, who's on This Is Us. Yeah. They had a very bad divorce. The beginning of, it was the beginning of, at the end of season three was when she got a text from him. Yeah. God, that's how se- that was such good television. That's how season three ended. Yes. Was them finding out that she, they found out on social media <gasps> that she got divorced. season four was Chriselle getting back on her feet. She found out she got divorced on Instagram from him. I think Instagram or text. It was shitty. Or a text or something like that. Anyway, um, but oh, so, so she good. had a very public, and since then, especially just paparazzi follows her all they the do. fucking time. So, but that's. These kind of stars want that. They're going to bitch about them all the time. She she does. I think she has a book, too. Uh, I don't mind her as much as some of the ones who are paparazzi fodder. I don't mind I her. Don't I find I, I find Chriselle. I find Chrishell to be pretty authentic. And we, she's got Chriselle. her haters. But I, I'm a stan. I'm, I'm a fan. Oh, yeah. love her. I, but in the same breath, Christine is, will always be a queen to me. Even though she's done horrible things, oh. she is a camp miracle. And I can't wait to know what she's going to say or do next. And remember the video someone shared? She can sing. She can sing. She can really sing. So, okay. If I met Christine Quinn, I might cry. <laughs> I think you would. I, I think she would make you cry. Yes. And by, by telling me, she's like, who are you, fag? Yeah. Yeah. She would just say, what the fuck are you wearing? And I'm like, do you have your chairs purse? And she's like, that's so last season. Who are you? I've got a fry purse now. I've got my French fry purse now. Yeah. Fuck off. Y'all, I will say that French fry purse is something. It's no chair purse. The chair purse. I, I'm forever changed. <laughs> Well, because the chair I know purse where I was holds nothing. Exactly. 
That's the deal. Exactly. It's a purse for nothing. Exactly. Where the French fry purse looks like it would open up and you could put exactly. a lipstick in there. Exactly. Exactly. That's there all I'm going to say. <laughs> there the you go. When, when someone said, why would you carry that? It holds nothing. It was, we were talking about our Facebook group, and I went, exactly. No one knew. Never mind. No one knew. I'm going to stop talking. Okay. I so called it Dada, and you said, who's Dada? And I went, let's not even talk about this it. This is going to be a long episode. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, they're just kind of talking at the pool, and um, it's they're just setting it up that basically, Mar- y'all remember Mary dated him. And she's like, the reason we stopped like six dating years ago, yeah. is because Mary kind of says the same thing Amaz is saying, because they both know Jason well, and they're like, Y'all, he's kind of a hoe. He's a player. Yeah. He's a player. He doesn't, he doesn't really settle, settle down. down a lot. So I will say those brothers, like Romaine is buff. I will say Jason in that pool looks pretty fucking hot. I'm not into him. They're like they're like they're like trolley little things. Their bodies are them. insane. I, I know, but both of them annoy the hell out of me. You wouldn't let them fuck you? No, I'm not into either of them. Hand to God. No. Close your eyes. No, I'm not going to because I don't like either of them. So I promise you. If they brought you up, it's like eleven thirty at night. They just take you just had drinks with them at Chateau Marmont. And then cause you're and or both of them are eh, one of them. Yeah, you're right. I'd fuck both of them <laughs> if I was really horny. <laughs> They're gonna take you to their beautiful twenty million dollar have, house. They do have nice arms that I can kind of cling to like a yeah. gargoyle. And big chest <laughs> that you could just hit whenever they're choking you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that you when can, they're grabbing me by the neck. You could just say your safe word, which is what's your safe word again? Uh Pomplamoose. Yeah. <laughs> Pomplamoose. Pomplamoose. Pom and just hit their chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, in their and, twenty million dollar house in their pool. Yeah, yeah. You would let them have sex with you. Yeah, you're right. Uh, God, I hate to admit it. But I don't like them. I think they're they're douchey. I think okay. both of them are super douchey. I I think Jason is less douchey than Brett. I agree with that. I don't see them as douchey as much as just they are very calculating. Yeah. Do you follow them on Instagram? You would their they their Instagram is eye rolling. I don't both of them. I don't yeah. follow them on Instagram. Okay. So anyway, so that's kind of what so Mary's like, we'll see, but I'm happy for them. Chris Shell's like, we're so happy. Da 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 da. Okay, so great. Happy. happy. So meanwhile, back in LA, Emma comes in the office, Davina's there. Okay. Davina's back. Remember? Oh, yeah. Davina's back in the office. Remember, y'all, uh, last time when Davina lumbered over to Jason? <laughs> hey. God. Hey. Uh, so uh, I hear there's a job opening. Remember that $100 million house I tried to sell? Remember that $100 million house? Did you, I don't know if you saw that episode. I think it was in season three. It was. Where's <laughs> She's like trying to sell this hundred million, and he's hey. like, "We can't sell this." Oh, she was such a horrible bitch about it too. Oh, she, y'all, you know I'm no. If you if you're a long time listener, you know I'm not a fan of Miss Davina, and I don't think Davina has fans. She but she's not bad TV though. True, but God, the style of Davina too. It's not. It's no. never good. It's not good. But y'all, Davina's becoming a little bit of a tryhard this season. She wants so. Much to be ex- uh, to be accepted. You so can much kind of so see that it. Christine's on the outs with her. Yeah, which maybe I'll turn around to Davina. No, I won't. <laughs> uh, she'll she'll creep in or like lumber or fall into will. the next room. She will. Now, so they're all talking about um, Chriselle and Jason because they're all talking about the news and <laughs> Heather's like, together. I was <laughs> shocked. I was shocked. Y'all, was anybody else shocked? I wish all of us the ability to be surprised as Heather Ray Young. Every day's a new day. I- <laughs> Every day's a new day with Heather. Maybe she just we like all, has amnesia. We all need a little bit of that. It's like a computer when you yeah. when you when you put it down, it goes back to where it was. In the Jealous of that. <laughs> wish I could do it. <laughs> You're right. There is something about her. She makes me laugh so much. Oh, yeah. Um, and I'm sure her and Ta- Tarek, unfortunately, she's got a, a tattoo of, say, that says Mr. So-and-so's name on her fucking back, lower back. Of Tarek? Yeah. Mrs. So-and-so, or yes, Mr. Oh. Something. In when her tramp stamp? Yeah, when he's banging her from behind. It's gross. Wow. 
Anyway, you can say wow. like yeah, miss, yes, Mr. El Musa I'm or something all about, like that. I'm all about if you're with someone for a while and you're getting married, sure, you want to get a tattoo that reminds you of your your loved one, I guess. But not that. I know. <laughs> not that. Like maybe maybe if they call you pumpkin, you get like a little pumpkin on no, your wrist. No. Anyway, she thinks and Heather thinks it's hot because it'd be taboo. Like that game she used to play. Yeah. And Maya's like, well, you know what? Chriselle could be your boss. Everyone can, like, can you imagine with Christine? And you almost hear a coyote across the city go, oh. (laughs) And all of us settle into the idea that Chriselle could be Christine's boss. And Emma (laughs) says, please, please, please make this happen. (laughs) Emma is for Emma's like they're gonna get married. Heather's I like, know who it. Who needs essential oils? Yes, Heather <laughs> said I got these essential oils. It's gonna keep away toxic energy, <laughs> toxic people. They keep people away from you. I can just laugh because she makes me oh. So y'all, we're back. Christine, Christine's Let's checking go, out. By the way, I've decided a new thing, new season, uh, new season. Who dis for? I wrote down and I'll keep doing this, and you can do it too. Now for each episode, we're gonna say. Welcome to Stranger's House number one. Okay. Because we're all just, this remember, is, it's conversations in Stranger's this, House. This is this is conversations in Stranger's Houses about things we've already said. Yes. Yeah. That's what this show is basically. So that's the uh, tagline. Well, I prefer conversations in, in, houses, in houses we don't own yeah. about things that have happened. Yes. Yeah. So... Stranger's House number one. Um, Christine is there, y'all. She's... um. She's in only what I can call uh, a Oshkosh Bagosh romper. <laughs> couture. Yeah. A couture Oshkosh couture. Yes. Oshkosh couture. And her like and her headdress. Hair, she is has up. like um who's that who's that uh lesbian or bi girl that came out on Dancing with the Stars? Jojo Siwa. It's like this Jojo Jojo Siwa type of like Hairnet or oh, barrette thing everything. she puts in her hair. It's everything. It's beautiful. And it almost looks a little bit like the headpiece that that Lady Camden was wearing on Drag Race yes. as well. Well, yeah, I haven't watched that season or, yet. Or Victor Victoria. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Speaking of Victor and Victoria, I just saw a post. Victoria and David Beckham's oldest child just got married. And he's gorgeous. Have you uh, ever seen him? Have you seen their other son? One I of mean, them, and their daughter. One the of whole them, family's fucking gorgeous. One of them, the uh, uh, n- R- Romeo is not as. Which one is the one who's Romeo's the one that just got married, which made me feel old yeah. as shit. He's so handsome. Yep, he's he's like he's like the best parts of both of them. And the younger boy looks m- much more like her. Yep. He's kind of like Cruz. Cruz looks very. Um, I, I think, don't have words I think right the now. Daughter looks but, more like dad, and I don't think it's it's going to pay off better when she's older. Yeah, the uh, Cruz looks more like um, androgynous look. Yes, looks like Victoria. I think he models. But no, and, Romeo Beckham is just they're gorgeous. Yeah, and we're old. We are. Remember when the world was a flutter when that baby was born? Yes, I do. Let's talk. Let's talk less about being old. Please. So anyway, so Christine's like, I just want real estate without the noise. And she said, I'm just, she said, God forbid, I'm terrified to speak because these women just take the drama, everything. the drama, but it's my air. <laughs> so it's her air. she meets this very fashionable black woman outside. Chelsea's is- face is fucking <laughs> beat. <laughs> and it is the middle of the day. But yes. So it anyway, is the day. so Christine's like, hey, how are you? Do I know you? And she's like, I'm from London. I love people from London. I love people from London. Yeah. And of course, they're fast friends because they love one another. Yeah. They she, have kids similar ages. It, 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 Y'all, this show, and I don't mind it, but it is so oh, it's scripted. it's so fucking fake. Because they're sitting there by a pool. She's like, six years ago, I came from London and got my master's. <laughs> like, she's just reading off her CV. I, I will say... Her master's degree will pay off later. <laughs> it will will pay off later. So, but she has two babies. We, her kid is fucking cute. It's a really cute kid. And so they have, she has like a two year old and a three month old or six months old. And Christine's like, oh my god, I'm a three month old. And then this weird, really weird thing in the universe happens. I'm watching two women who look like Barbie in. Way too high heels to be wearing outside. Yeah. 
One of them has a French fry purse. <laughs> and suddenly they're talking about sleep training your baby. It is weird. Put this under things I never thought I would hear Christine Quinn talking about. No, and it and it feels it feels like they're speaking Esperanto all of a sudden because it should not be. Yeah, I I agree. I will say it. The fact that Christine Quinn is a mother is is a very strange and almost weirdly inspirational thing for me. It, no, I'm not making fun of her for it. It's just no, I agree. It would be like you talking about fucking a woman. Yeah, or like or if you said, "Hey, when I mother. fuck," yeah, or if you no, that I would get more because you'd want to steal the baby's essence for your youth. That's true, but it like would, you it would saying, have an end to it. so when I dick down a girl, I have sex with her. Yeah, like, it just feels wrong. It feels wrong. Yeah, I get so, you. But I, that was going to bring up it. This does it does humanize her. It it really does. That's just how you humanize a, well, she's a, a walking a, robot, y'all. She's a production. Oh she's, yeah. What most of what we see with Christine is is a production, and I can't get enough. Um, so anyway, and I wrote down. She's like, "Look who's new friends. We're new friends." And at one point, she knocks something over, and she they both look over to the guy like, "Can you pick that over? We can't bend no, over." Her purse breaks. She yeah. drops her. She's like, "I can't pick this up. We can't bend over." <laughs> <laughs> then they go on a balcony, and, and Chelsea says, oh, this is beautiful. And Christine says, it's beautiful. I love looking down on people. And at the same time, they both raise their hand and go, hello, peasants. <laughs> and I went, and, and here we are. Here we these, are. These are the villains yes. of season five. <laughs> and I'm here for it. I'm glad there are two. Oh. Because that means Christine's got a wingman or wing, oh. wing person. Oh, so y'all, we're back in Greece. We should do this not in. We should do this by locations. I think it might be easier. Although the show does smash cuts for reasons. It does smash cuts. It's too hard. We so tried doing that before. It's their we birth. Have to go back it's Christelle's and Mary's birthday dinner, and Amanda's here. We love Amanda. Amanda shows up. Not really much happens. She's just like, I love you guys together. Have a baby. That's kind of it. And at one point, they're talking about. Uh, turns out. Heather sent a text, a well-wishing, and so did Christine. Oh, we did get that. Out. Yes, we did get that. To Jason. Yes. Y'all to never, Jason. never underestimate Christine's ability to be a brown noser to, Christ- to keep her job. Christine knows where her bread's buttered. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Christine is actually an extremely, I'm, I'm not going to say she's, a, she's emotionally intelligent in how to manipulate people. Yeah. Not for her own life. She knows exactly how to make herself the most important person in the room. And she knows she also that's what makes her good a real estate agent. It's we've talked a lot about narcissists on this show. I don't think Christine Christine Quinn is a narcissist. No. I think she is highly self involved yes. and self centered. But that's different than because narcissists a lot of times don't have empathy for other people. Christine has that. Yeah, she chooses not she to just use chooses it. not to use it. <laughs> But she has it. Yep. She has it. Yep. Y'all, real quickly, we go to Stranger's House number two. It's Emma showing a house and a renovation project. The $9 million house. We're not going to talk about it. If you just went, what? I listened to this podcast for them to talk about the houses. No, you don't. You listen to the wrong show. Yeah. You're listening to the wrong listen, show. Listen to some million dollar listing podcast. Whatever. This is not what this show we don't is do it. about. Anyway, but she's offering him, I will say, she's offering, you can tell she knows what she's doing because she's offering him tips of how to increase the value of the house because he's wanting to buy it to do things to it and resell it. Well, don't forget, y'all, Emma makes a lot of money. And you know why I know? Empanadas. (laughs) Empanadas. Because all the while, while Jake and I have been flying around doing our live tour shit, I should say shit. I love, we love our live tour stuff. We love it. But- all the, it fly, is the flying all the fly around bullshit. Every time Jake just looks at me, every flight and just says, "Why can't we fly private we need like to fly Emma?" Private like Emma. He brings up. I get a big dog just so I could do it. <laughs> you bring up Emma every fucking time. <laughs> Fuck her. Fuck her and her private playing. We do see Vanessa, we, who we love. I forgot how much I missed her. Um. Vanessa and her gorgeous oh, British boyfriend Nick. I don't love. I like Vanessa. Oh, I like her. I like. I, her. Like, I, love I her. don't love her. Vanessa. She was there to start drama, though. She was there to start drama, and also Vanessa kind of. Um, Vanessa really tried to play both sides. She did. She did. 
So anyway, he's she's she's in a British uh, British long distance relationship. Um, yeah. and she tells British Air that hopefully I'll see you soon. Yeah. Uh, and he's a photographer, and she's like, "You should travel with me." So that's going to be a plot point this season. Yeah. We're back in Greece, everyone. We got bronze goblets. We're we're popping bottles. We're out by the pool. But Turns out Mary and Romaine had a fight. No, Chrishell and Mary aren't there. Yeah, Mary and Romaine had a fight. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert, y'all. If you're Spoiler new to the show. Mary's unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> it, she is. It's kind of what I love Mary. Love her, love her, love her. And she has a history of totally, if she feels um, not disrespected, but almost no, she insulted, flips the fuck out. she flips the fuck out. Yeah, it's, that's her thing. Even if it's not based in she reality. She also pulls the best faces on television. Oh. <laughs> Just complete mouth agape, huge eyes, that yeah. Adderall stare. Yeah, just like. <clears throat> but you know what? She gets dick from Romaine, it's and true. it is good. God, he is it's hot. It's not huge, but it's good dick. And he is hot. He's so hot. Whoa. He's like the cool water ad guy. Come to life. Remember that guy? Wow. Um, <laughs> do you just want to talk about, like, Fabio and, like, any other... <laughs> 1987 <laughs> references. Hey, cool water. There were you other, bring up the there diet. Other cool water. Bring up the diet you coke guy. Lucky Vanna's. I, I did. It's true. He, I owns, just he owns a restaurant. Yeah, in I Hollywood. Don't, I don't even know if they make cool water anymore. I was. They make, only sell it you, at I Walmart. Was saying, you know the guy. Who, <laughs> never mind. No, he's really odd. I just I'm, sorry. I'm teasing no, you because right. we're old. We're old. Uh, actually, so, then, I do remember the cool water guy because it was part of my sexual yeah. awakening. And then, like, Brett has a random fight. Basically, know this, guys. This is to this is to presage all these little things that's going to happen. The thing about the storytelling of Sunset, selling Sunset, you guys, everything is 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 edited and planned and storyboarded, so it will pay off. Th- this show is y'all. It's scripted. Of course it is. It's not reality. It's and all people, fake. And people complain about that, and I don't get it. Y'all, we still <laughs> don't know. There still is very, there are rumors, and very valid rumors, that last season, Quis- Christine Quinn had already had her baby, <laughs> but faked a pregnancy for the show. Yes. Which yes. I could believe. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> faked being pregnant, yeah. Yeah, yeah, me too. Totally believe it. Totally believe it. And then there were people saying, "No, it's an actual baby bump," and the internet went on a sleuthing spree about well, it. Do we think she was pregnant at one point? Yes, we yes. think she was pregnant. But she had the baby. But she had the baby. Although there were people who say it was a Hilaria Baldwin thing, where she went off and she wore a fat a pregnancy suit, and, and she had, had a surrogate. surrogate. Yeah, I I don't espouse that. I uh, yeah yeah, but I don't want to. Yeah, I I don't feel. If a woman says she had her baby, I'm going to believe. I'm going to believe woman. her. Now, so, but did she have her baby six months prior? True, that's different. You never know with Christine. So, uh, Mary and Chris, Mary and Chriselle are shopping and they're eating and they're talking about the, the about the fight they had. And Mary's like, "You got to work on relationships. Got to work on your relationships." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Even when she's eating pizza, she's like, "This pizza's delicious. It's delicious. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good." <laughs> Ooh, with her Adderall cocktail. <laughs> yep. Michelle's just like, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Christine, meanwhile. They went got our, yeah, he wanted to go out clubbing, and she's like, I just want more alone time. Okay. She wants a baby. She does. She want, that's, I she think that's going to be her plot point. Yeah, she wants a baby. Because they're married, right? Yes. She wants a baby real bad. Want a baby real bad. <laughs> that was pretty good, Jennifer Luke. Cool. Want a hot dog real bad. Want a hot dog. God, Jennifer I, Coolidge, not Lewis. I, I corrected myself. I started saying I said Lewis, and then I went Coolidge. Lulidge. I went Lulidge. So Christine is talking to Maya, and which is kind of dangerous because Maya's going to give it to you straight. Oh. Yes. Um, yeah. They're they're and at I, um, Strangers House number three, and I wrote down Maya's still pregnant here. Which, if you guys remember. I think this might have been the trigger warning. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Trigger warning here. Child child loss. loss. Uh, So go forward a little bit. 
or this, just in the show because we're almost done. Yeah, this may or go to the commercial. Yeah, this yeah. may this was before she lost this child. But she does so. lose this baby. Yeah. So if you're watching this season, I don't know. I can't imagine that's in this season. I don't know. That's not very selling. She sunset. seems she seems pregnant now. She seems pretty pregnant now. She does. So anyway, we just want to let people know. Oh, it's horribly sad. Horribly, horribly, yeah. horribly sad. Um, but they're looking at so um trigger winning over. Trigger winning. So Christine is talking about they're in Carrie Grant's, Grant's house. house. A lot of gay shit happened there, y'all. Well, Cary Grant wasn't gay. No. A lot of people speculate that Cary Grant was gay. Was that no, that was Rock Hudson. No, but Cary Grant too. Really? Who what somebody of authority told me that. There's a lot of like that a lot Who's of his authority. Wives are, Someone you met at the bullet bar your in Burbank. neighbor that's always smoking pot that I go talk to out in the yeah, front. Yeah, I'm sure. He's like, Cary Grant's gay. Where did I hear that from? Oh well, know. we'll never know. Uh so Anyway, so they are talking about Daddy, and Christine just says, God, thank God we don't have HR at our company. So, of course, she's uh, basically saying, uh, anyway. Christine's like, yeah, I realized I wasn't getting a lot of listings. Oh, yeah, but I'm not fucking my boss. I'm not fucking my boss. God, she's so good. And that's going to be her stance. And and then Christine and basically says, and Maya says, as long as they're together, it's fine, but I'm a little worried what happens when they're not. And Christine ends it with saying, guess I'm not fucking my boss. Guess I'm not fucking my boss. Y'all, we're going to take a break. That's episode one. We're going to take a commercial. We'll be back for episode two, New Blood. Okay. So Oreo's a vegan. They're just not healthy. (laughs) (laughs) I think I said this right before. I would watch (laughs) Heather Young... Heather Ray Young read nutritional labels and react to them forever. Okay, so they are vegan. They They're are just vegan. not healthy. I've got to look that up because I guess she's vegan. Yes. Of course she is. I like it when uh, Emma said, you've never had Oreos? Emma, who is rail yeah. thin and anyway. It's a pretty weird thing to live in our it country is, and say you've weird. never had. You can say you don't like Oreos but because I don't think you to like a- them. I don't, they're not what I would choose. I, I don't mind the ones without cream. People are going to come for me. Um, I like, the, I don't mind the cookies without. You just like the cookies. You just don't like the cream. Yeah. I don't think people will come for you. I think there's such a universal thing that no one is, everybody has their own opinion. But it's like saying you never tasted a Coca-Cola. I will say double stuffed Oreos, she's right. Too much cream. Those are my Too favorite. Much. Those Too are my much. favorite. I know. But I think sounds about right. The, the vanilla Oreos are good too. The double stuffed of those, love them. I can't go into this. Lo- I like some. I like some stuff. It's cream. too. It's too much. I agree with the, the double stuff is too much stuff. I I would. You know what I did? I would peel off the stuff and throw away the 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 the, the filling. That's fine. A lot of people do that. Double stuff. God, why? Well, it depends on how you're eating them. If you have milk, I don't mind a regular Oreo. It's because, you, but if I'm just having, there's enough gelatinous fat in the if, double. If stuff. I'm eating just the Oreo without milk, it feels too dry. But a double stuff, I feel like it takes some of the dryness. What if out you of had cooking. water? Why would you have water to an <laughs> Oreo? Have water God. while you were drinking it. You don't drink water when you have an <laughs> Oreo. What the fuck? Yo, you should have seen her face. Yo, this is selling sunset. Why don't you just go to a two? movie theater and have? Kombucha with your fucking popcorn. <laughs> I love kombucha with popcorn. Hey, if it's there, yeah, please. I you, I've seen you. You get a diet coke that's the size of your head. Ooh, and I am fucking high for three hours because of how much caffeine is in that. You diet also coke. can't. You can hardly share your popcorn with Poodle at a movie theater. No, I'm not a good sharer he, when it comes to just, popcorn. Just let him have his own bag, y'all. And he'll But you know what? I will fight you tooth and nail for my own bag. You you know what's best to do with me? Just buy my own bag. You will need to buy me my own bag. It's the best. I've learned that. <clears throat> because I'll have a little bit of yours. And even if you don't want that much popcorn, you're gonna have to buy your own bag. <laughs> because 
If you tell him to buy his own bag and you buy don't buy the same or equal size of popcorn, he will completely I freak will, out on you in the movie I theater will, and I'll, say, I'll freak the fuck out back? on you. I'm I'll eating freak this the fuck out on you. So if Poodle's going to get a large popcorn, I just know I'm going to spend seven fucking dollars and get a large myself. You, you, it is hard for me to convince myself to buy popcorn for myself. I'll say, oh, this is for all of us. You know what? And That's okay. If you want to go to a theater and buy popcorn for yourself, no, it's, you it's should. Not a, it's not a price. It's nothing. It is a principle that I won't eat that much popcorn. But but here's the thing. They put something in it that makes you never, ever want to stop eating that one <laughs> bowl of popcorn. Yeah. There is heroin in that. There is. Or but something. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. In this day and age, especially we've all been cooped up, y'all – Go to a movie and get yourself the popcorn. I, I agree. I feel gross after I eat it, though. I will say that. <laughs> but you'll not go to the movie theater and not get popcorn. There are some times I have to eat before. That's if just, I eat before, just, I'll be just okay. just when you're on dates. That is true. Have you ever gone with friends to a movie theater and not had and popcorn? Not had popcorn? <laughs> I've been your roommate Rarely. and friend for a long time. Rarely. Rarely. I think the only time is when we've gone after Thanksgiving and we're completely stuffed. Yeah, I can't do that. Where the food's just kind of up to your sternum. Yeah. Let's move well, on. You're burping and you taste stuffing. Yeah, you're just too full to fuck. Speaking of too full to fuck. <laughs> yes. Something at Heather Ray. Maybe she may get too full to fuck. But uh, y'all, Chriselle walks in while we're having this Oreo conversation, and they of course. Pounce upon her Pounce. like a gazelle. Yes, just <laughs> like a lion on a gazelle, yes, a tigress. Like, Tell us about it! Ah! <laughs> Maya's like, how was the kiss? <laughs> Without missing a beat. And Chriselle's well, and she's like, it better have been worth it. <laughs> Y'all, Maya, everybody's like, this is going to work out. This is going to be great. And Maya's like, <sighs> hope it works out. Well, yeah. she's always the realist. She's a realist. There is a lot, strangely, and I, I did not know this until I started reading Reddit. Um, there's a lot of Maya hate. Really? I know. I don't get it I either. I love Maya. I think she's just super, a lot of people think she's there to steal spotlight. Um, I don't agree yeah, with that Yeah, I don't all. either. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. I don't get it. But that's the same place that there's a lot of Chriselle hate. I don't know. How dare you? <laughs> See, I think you like Chriselle even more than me. Uh, I do like her. I do. I love Chriselle. But, uh, I love Chriselle. But anyway, y'all, I like I want to be Chriselle. Can I just say this? Uh, Chriselle's talking about, uh, and, and Chriselle's like, I'm still nervous about it. And, there, and, and Brett is like, so I just need to talk to you about this, Chriselle. Remember that uh, one place, that OC, in the OC office? And Davina's like, I want to see the OC office. I want to see the uh... <laughs> just naked, raw ambition yes, that you see naked, in Davina's raw ambition. eyes. I just I can't get enough. Uh, anyway, the next scene, Heather uh, uh, to Heather, she's like, Heather, you you played a part in this. Chriselle, Chriselle says, Heather, you played a part in this because we. He told me his feelings after your engagement party. <gasps> God, we should have an Oreo because I can eat them. And uh, and then she's like, and I didn't even really think about it until after he kissed me. And that's when they were talking about the kiss. Yes. And and Davina's like, yeah, it's so good, it's so nice. I I just want to be part of the group. <laughs> Is just, everybody okay with me like being so, here again? So y'all, they stuck her in the back. Does anybody want to call me? <laughs> they just stuck her in the back. By the water dispenser because uh, no one well, wants. Well, she to. left to go to Douglas Elman because she thought she thought she could do better, and uh, and she's still been around, but it's pretty impressive that Jason let her back. They know. I think she's probably a good salesperson, but she's so fucking awkward on the show. I think she's the only just reason always she lumbering back, in. I think she probably only got back because she would. Because of the show. Probably. Because it can't be just Christine who riles people up. And Davina. She, y'all, Davina has the the legendary Davina moment that we will always remember is, is when she's just been, this is, I believe this is at Christine's wedding. 
in season, season two, season three, maybe no, it's season three. I think was with Chris. I never saw season three yet. Um, the very end, near the end of season three. Oh, that wedding, the black wedding dress. Oh, Christine's oh. wedding. I'm sorry, you said Chris Shell. I'm sorry. I that was season. F- no, that was not. That season was the four. end of season three. Yes, I was it. Yes, maybe it was it because I watched it to kind of prep for season yeah. four. Y'all, there was a moment where so she was leaving and 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 everyone's sitting on the couch com- comforting after Chrishell has so been Christine left. So Christine get married, got married, but they hadn't seen y'all. It's a beautiful. They it's, had not seen Chris Chrishell since, and Christine's she was at, getting married, and they haven't seen Chrishell since they found out she was got divorced from yeah. Justin Hartley. And so she's at the wedding, and they're all kind of sitting there trying to support Chrishell, and just and Davina's like, "Well, no one's really asked Justin's side of the story," <laughs> and everyone just went. What the fuck? <laughs> what? And, Mary, and a man's is like, what the fuck's wrong with you? And, and a man's is like, what the fuck and is wrong? Like, what <laughs> and Mary, yeah, Mary goes, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you just saw Davina go, wait, did I read the room wrong? Wait, did I read the- <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, there are so many great moments like this and like this in the show, y'all. I can't tell you if you haven't watched this show from the beginning. It's delicious. Delicious. Okay, where were we? Delicious. God, I love this show. It's a good show. Um, are we with Christine and Jason? We are. So y'all, Christine and Jason, they they um they, they she sits down with him, and so she just y'all, it's weird when because they they sit down and she said, I apologize, I was so late to your party. And Jason's like, no apologies. She does apologize for kind of her behavior and what happened too. But he doesn't say, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, and he said, it's nice to have you back. And she said, I just shouldn't be afraid to be in the office. Because he's like, he totally gets to business. And they kind of only talk about business, yes. really. Um, it was a little did, awkward. Did you see her gloves? Her kind of like black lace driving gloves. Oh, I did not notice those. Oh. <laughs> and the orange skin, did, the yeah. orange snake skin. Yes. God, y'all, everything she wears is the extra of the extra. I can't get enough. <laughs> and she makes it work somehow. I will say she very rarely looks terrible in a fashion No, voice. no, she doesn't. Heather's had some really questionable things. And so even is so, is, so is Mary and so is Chriselle. But even though... How dare you? Sorry, but even even... But there's a point that Christine goes to that it's always whimsical and it's always too much, but she makes it work. Oh, I sorry. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop like jerking off I on think, Christine. I, I think, yeah, you might want to watch it. But I do think you would actually fall into a puddle of tears if you I saw would. her. <laughs> I'd tell her all the reasons why I appreciated her and what she does on the show. And she would be bored. She would. She's like, who are you? Who are you? So. How much do you make? She basically. What outlet is, what, what is this interview for? She's <laughs> like, so. Y'all again, it's no, so fake. No, because just, no one does this. No, no, no one, does, one does, this. does this. She's like, hey, there's somebody I think would be great for the real estate. And she's she's coming like, by. Well, I'm not hot. Yeah. And she's like, no, she's coming by. I'm asking her to come by. <laughs> and, and Jason's like, okay, sure. So. Chelsea shows up, and I didn't and know this. Y'all, this dress took my breath away. She looked. She looked. She was. I was goop. She, I was goop. She was ready. Now, y'all, I didn't know this. And she's like, and 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 Christine's like, she has a master's degree. <laughs> she's, yeah, she's like, she has a master. She's like, I have an MRS degree. And Jason went, "What's that? A missed degree." I wanted to a get lot of people didn't know that. I said that to someone, and they're like, "What is that?" Oh, yeah, it's very common. Yeah, it's like MRS uh, degree. This is the card that I didn't know Chelsea has. Y'all, Chelsea's from Manhattan Beach. Yes. If you don't know Manhattan Beach, it's probably one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in Los Angeles. Very it wealthy. Is, it's like stupid rich money. It's like new money compared to Newport Beach. Yes. But yeah. And, but it's all got this little inlet. It's all. It is very small. It's very small. It's a small, very exclusive Rich community, and they all have their fucking yachts out yep. there in the water. And Jason knows her husband there's and a, is friends with him. There's a great cheesecake factory there. <laughs> That's how wow. I know it. That's how wow. I know it. So, great. Boy. Anyway, yeah, because Jason sold her husband at a house. Not that one, but another house. 
And so she's basically so I could help you in Manhattan Beach. And that's the way you get to Jason. And he said, is money. she's like, bring me a listing. So y'all, Chelsea's in. If that was any mystery, because you forget that's why um, Vanessa got in because Vanessa has contacts like in the Malibu, Malibu. area. Because remember the op, you think it's y'all. You're probably thinking, what? It's L.A. It's just like oh, if no. you're a realtor in Oklahoma City or in Dallas, you're. It's not. It's all like realtors are so it's much real you know. estate. It's like New York. There are people. Well, I know. I think it's different than New York. Like people don't can probably jump around more to boroughs and stuff in New York, but they, here are people selling sunset. I think there are people who do like Brooklyn and uh, and Queens and things like that. But like at least on do. like million dollar listening stuff because I've watched that show quite a bit. They kind of go all over. They do. Whereas here, it's like you're if you're in L.A. and Sunset area, you don't necessarily you're not a realtor in the Palisades. No, 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 no. It's a whole different area. Yeah. And it's weird. it was weird when Chriselle was doing stuff in the Valley because no one does stuff in the Valley. No one does stuff in the Valley that's like, ri- I mean, that yeah. like you make money from. It's, it's just not- it's just vultures and carrion. <laughs> I mean, I personally, love- I've heard people live there. I love Sherman Oaks and Burbank. Well, yeah, no, I'm, but I'm being hyperbolic. But no, but yeah, it's uh, um, <laughs> it's just vultures and carrion. No, just Sherman Oaks and Burbank. The that's rest it. of it is well, you that's basically it. just describe Van Nuys. Yeah. God. Sorry if you live in Van Nuys. I'm sorry. Not yeah. sorry that we said it. Just sorry you live in Van Nuys. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew we'd be doing Valley Shade? <laughs> Valley sissies are gonna come at us. Fuck! I don't. You know you're crap. Now here's you know a, you live in shit. Here's the deal. You're in Van Nuys. Some of the hottest fucks I've hooked up with. You're are right. In fucking North Hollywood. Yeah, but Van I get Nuys. out of there. I oh, yeah, you, you fuck them and you leave because you don't want your car to get broken And you into. ask them to walk to your car. You do. <laughs> you do. Especially at an area of North Hollywood, like, yes. right in between Lancashire and Victory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're getting fucked on Sherman Way, get the hell out of there. <laughs> that is so far north. <laughs> and we both have been there for tricks. Jesus. Big apartment complexes Big. up there. <laughs> <laughs> I need GPS just to get me through an <laughs> apartment complex. Yeah, it's true. Building what? Building A? A building, oh, if you got What floor? <laughs> <laughs> What's the, the code? There's building A, E, and then A, B. <laughs> I can't read this. <laughs> I will say, it's hard being a gay person hooking up in an apartment complex where there's not a lot of good signage and it's dark. And it's dark, yeah. One time I fucked a guy who I was, need you need breadcrumbs in those places. He was doing a play at the Amundsen and he was like guest star. He was like doing he was here for like a month doing a play. And I was like, Oh, that's great. We met, I think, at Akbar. And he's like, Oh, come by. And so I went to his place and I he sent me the location and he was new and he didn't know. And it was the Oakwood apartments. Oh Jesus. It's hard do to you, find your way around there. Do you know how long it took I, I walked for around for twenty minutes just to find him. No, there's like a three letter code for every building. Yes. Very it was difficult. Terrible. Terrible. It's called different it's called different name now. That's how long it's been since you've been out of the game. And the dick was fine. It is called it's not called Oakwood, it's something it's different. Something now. else. It's changed names like four times. Just okay. It was okay. He wanted to see me again and I was busy. Be busy meeting. Thanks, but no thanks. I was excited. I thought it would be really. Was he a good actor? I never saw the play. <laughs> you know, he was a good actor in bed, at least. A regular Sarah Bernhardt. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or I was kind of Sandra Bernhardt. Yeah, I was hoping it would be amazing, Dick, and I would just have a month of like good Oakwood, Dick. It's at the Oakwood, though. Yeah, but that's like it. That's that would have been a twenty-five minute drive from where we were. Yeah, it was far. Um, and that's at not rush hour. Um, yeah. See, y'all don't understand. <laughs> I've been in a relationship now, but I tease him. But when I was single, I call Poodle a whore because I know a whore because I've been a whore. Yeah. We've all been there. And we all should. Be slutty. Be slutty. So where are we? Uh, they're talking about Chriselle and uh, who is it? Emma. They are, they were, we're getting house number one that doesn't belong to them. Oh, and this house is Stranger's house number this one. This house yes. is huge. And of course, for one of Emma's Singapore clients, because she's got sing- clients everywhere. Because she flies private. Empanadas. And y'all, who knew? This, house, <laughs> this house is 23. I forgot about it. Empanadas. So you said that. <laughs> 
Her Y'all, name, her last name is Hernan. So I think she may be like Latinx in maybe, some way. But y'all, she has Don't like look it. she has empanadas that she sells in frozen food stores, and I guess she makes a lot of money from it. I think she's uh I think she's a hustler. She's definitely not in the way that Jabri from no. Night of Beyonce is a hustler. No. She's an actual entrepreneur, like yeah. a truly entrepreneur. I I really like her. I, I love say. Emma. Love Emma. So the house is like Eleven thousand square feet, you guys. Twenty three million dollars. Wow. I mean, two pools. Well, as soon as I saw that this house had two pools, I went, "Oh, yeah." There's now, y'all. There was a moment that Poodle was terrified. That infinity pool walk across. He hates infinity I, pools. They bother already. me. They bother. But when she walked across the ledge of the infinity pool, I thought, "Pill pool." The almost said, "It up her." I went, Poodle is freaking out right it now. It freaked me the fuck out. I knew it was hard for you to watch. But I, I will say it was a really fun thing. Makes for me her. love and her she's more. Like, I'll do anything to sell a house. That's why I love Emma. I'm like, she is like the... Um, she took off her shoes. Yes. She is like, I, she's like the Lori Metcalf of, of realtors. That is <laughs> not an appropriate <laughs> reference. Don't <laughs> come, There is no Lori Metcalf except for Lori Metcalf. And there is no Lori Metcalf of anything. Take her name out of your mouth. No. <laughs> she might be the... She's more of like the Nicole Kidman of realtors or something like that. Don't say no. Don't. Don't. Don't drag Lori Metcalf into this. Bull. Anyway. You know, Lori Metcalf wouldn't be bad for a cattle wife. She'd have to see the script. She'd have to get approval beforehand. <laughs> I can't provide her that. I'm going to write the script as we do it. <laughs> it's like Salt Wives, y'all. You show up on the day, and they're like, I didn't get a script. Fran- Franny, uh, uh, Francis, uh, why am I blanking on her name? Francis McDormand? My Prince- Franny McDormand would say to me, so I just need my script so I can go read my trailer. There is no script, honey. This is improv, and then I'll write the script based on your improv. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she goes... I'm out, <laughs> but you you won't get paid for uh, screenplay. No, there's no credit. writing. There's no, no writing no. credit for you. That though. goes to me. Yeah, it's for me. I just need to see you you behave. I need to see your instruments before yes, I know how to uh-huh. write for you. Uh huh. Yeah, June Squibb will will say, "Give me my give me my money, fucker." Yeah, Alfie Woodard's not even coming out of a trailer. <laughs> She's like, "Fuck this queen." Oh God, I don't think I, th- I think she'd spit. She'd quit after one day with me. I think so too. Yeah. So mm-hmm. anyway, y'all. At, we're we're having this kind of cutaway dinner with Jason and Brett and Tina and Chriselle, Um and they're talking about uh, going to the OC and Brett needs a listing and Chriselle's going to help her and uh and all, they also need they're telling him also about Christine coming back to the office yes and Chriselle's like that's not good and Chriselle is the one who told that showed like a quote from Us Weekly. That, because uh, y'all, Christine leaks everything to Us Weekly and hello. She, she and- leaks everything. <laughs> and it's also, she, not, leaks means that something's true. She just, she just says blabs. shit. Yeah. So she, Chriselle's right. Well, I read it. I read it when it came out. She basically said she met Jason while she was married to Justin Hartley and basically cheated on her yep. husband. Yep. And y'all, and the twins kind of say, it's okay. That's just Christine. And if I was if I was Chriselle, I'd be like, I'm your girlfriend now. Yeah, I, I would say I would be like, Yeah, it's not gonna happen. But they're kind of like I have a like, feeling that might happen. I can't wait if it I does. I think eventually So anyway, uh the, at the very end, um Christine basically or Chriselle says, and y'all, if she if she'll get fired, she she hasn't sold a house in forever. And so she finally says, like, that's the way. She's like, what's the money? Where's the money? Right. Show me the money, Christine. So then there's that kind of something happening between Amanza and Chriselle. And y'all, this gold outfit that Chriselle shows up in. Or sorry, that Christine, that, uh, that Christine shows Christine, up in. Yeah. Now I'm doing it like you are. God. And at one point, and, and Amanza's like, you just lifted an eyebrow when you said that. And Chriselle says, what? What? <laughs> she immediately says, hey, Siri, tell my doctor. <laughs> That, uh, my forehead I, just my moved. My forehead just moved. This is what I'm saying, y'all. 
She knows exactly what she's doing. She knows how to make fun of herself. Yeah. She the sh- this show never takes itself seriously. The concept of the show takes itself That's very. Doctor Watkins says I had just moved. This is what I'm saying. All she knows exactly what she's doing. She knows how to make fun of herself. How she does this show never takes itself. Ready to send it? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Are you sending it to your dermatologist? I don't even know who Doctor Watkins is. Me either. You should take off your voice thing on your iPad. I'm, That's ridiculous. Keep go. Who is Doctor Watkins? I don't know. Anyway, while while you while you participate in foolishness, I'm going to keep recapping. Okay, okay. So they're talking about Botox. Oh, that was my dad's doctor <laughs> in Ardmore. <laughs> but he's dead. Wah, wah. Not the doctor, my dad, but. I guess I'm just going to delete him because I don't know wow. him now. Didn't expect to have a moment of grief wow, here. I'm just going to delete my passed away father's daughter. All right, he's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, Christine. <laughs> and y'all, Christina y'all, basically says. Y'all, if only says, you could see Poodle's face. <laughs> how do I go- keep going? <laughs> Sorry, the legendary comedy killer. <laughs> it's true. Do you have any Holocaust uh, <laughs> story? Uh, yeah, like yeah. Something about Ukraine? Yeah. To share? Sure. Um, okay. So, Christine says, she, you, guys, you guys, you can see the skill of Christine when she's talking to a man. So she's like, She's trying to create doubt in people's heads. She's so good at it. She's so, and, but and it doesn't really work with the man. So. It doesn't because she's so non. But like nonsense. with Mary or Heather. Oh, it always works. Or Davina, it fries their brains. Yeah. Fries their brains. With brain. Maya, Maya gets Maya. See was where Christine's coming through. Yeah, and she's it's especially good with the new people. I guarantee you, uh, Christine's going to turn Chelsea against everybody. Yes, because Christine tried it with. Vanessa. Vanessa and Vanessa kind of saw through it. Took it took her about four episodes. I think that's why when I earlier in episode one, when I said I don't love, I like Vanessa, but I don't She's love gullible. her because she still was like trying to say, You guys, we all just need to get along. And I was like, Girl, did you not watch the prior seasons? No, yeah. So, anyway. Get real. Even Amanda says, uh, she's, and she's like, "Isn't it odd that you didn't? Did she didn't tell you?" And she's, and yeah, she's trying to create that. Yeah. Yes, it, saying to Amanda that isn't it odd that Chriselle didn't tell you about her and Jason? And Amanda and, goes, no. and finally, Amanda no, says, it's not. "Don't you think it's?" She's like, "You know, I think it's weird. You, you guys don't talk. You should probably just do it." And she's like, "And they actually say the same thing about you." She's like, "I'm gonna get not involved." And and Christine's like, "Is this an intervention is or something?" A, yeah, is this an intervention? And she's like. Uh, and Amanda kind of trains us. She's like, well, are you and Davina friends? And Christine goes, no. Because she did not support me. So is that that's new because we didn't see. They have always been friends. No, at the at the end of last season. Did it happen? The end, yes, there was a moment where Christine, do you remember when, when Christine, Davina said, she's like, oh, yeah, I showed Davina the ring. And I told Davina all about it. Oh, and Davina was like. Davina's like, that no, didn't happen. That Why didn't... are you throwing me under the bus? Yeah, she did say that. So that's it, y'all. That's it. When Christine says someone doesn't support me, she it really means they did. They're not going to lie for her. Yeah. Um. So anyway, the next little bit. Uh, God, this show's delicious. It's so good. So they're they're at Chelsea's. Oh, I will say, Christine's like talking, and she's like, "No, don't cut me off." And Mons is like, "Okay, okay." Anyway, they're at Chelsea's. And her her kid Maddox, it's cute. And Jeff, her nerdy, cute husband. He is cute. Boy. Some, he's got a lot of money. <laughs> no, I, I disagree. No, I no, it's asking. I don't think no. his dick is there. No. His dick is not huge. We never talked about this. Who has the largest peen on selling sunset? Of all of well I have an opinion. There aren't a lot of men. Of all the husbands and boyfriends. Hmm. I don't know of all of them. I think it's um I think it's the flipper flop guy. Tariq? Tarek? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Although Turkish men uh because I think he's Turkish, isn't he? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Turkish men don't have the biggest dicks, I've found. You would know. 
You did stand in a lot my of them. map. <laughs> uh, in my map, in my stats, you did fuck a lot of Eastern Europe. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Ooh, it's a rough four weeks on that Russian whaling vessel. Y'all, he would. <laughs> He, he got to a point where he would just smell cigarette smoke and get a hard on. <laughs> I was the only, I was the only, I was the only thing they could fuck on that Russian whaling vessel. That's true. Ooh, no women around. Yeah. And I would just put on, I would just cut the mop off the thing when I was swabbing the deck and say, hey boys! Hey boys. <laughs> and I was good enough. Moby Dick, indeed. <laughs> Yeah, that's not Moby Dick. They just called Moby me Hole. Dick. Yeah. <laughs> they just called Have you him. seen Hole recently? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, I'm not. Someday I'll write about that in my autobiography. I'm right here. With, Russian, I'm here with Yusuf. Russian whaling vessel. Wow. So, I should change that, but I don't want to say, I don't want to give the Russians any credit these oh, days. Oh, you should say that, actually. Latvian, Latvian Latvian whaling vessel There you go Yeah Anyway So they are at Chelsea's And they're basically And the guy's like Trying to take care of the kid And he's like She's like I'm gonna go yeah. See if I can get a, uh, uh, a I'm gonna work At the Oppenheim group He's like Yeah I know all that And he's like Can you say Spill the tea Maddox I'm not used to straight people using our terms. Can you say small world Maddox? Can you say mommy's here for the drama Maddox? Maddox. Of course, I shouldn't say that because really gay men just took things that drag queens, that drag queens or black women said. So yeah. never mind. Straight people can say it because we took it from them. Yeah, it's fine. I don't, I'm not offended by it. I'm not. I've decided I'm not either. How brave. How brave, right? <laughs> Let's talk about Jason and Mary. So, y'all, Jason's decided, I've been thinking a lot about this. Mary. I Mary. Want Mary. 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 Um, I want you to be the managing partner for the LA office. And I went, gung gung. Oh, I th- I saw this coming because he's been trying to diversify. Even he's, since last season. Because he's in, you think so? Mm-hmm. Cause he's cause it's not really about them either. I think he's, the, been, he's been talking about trying to spend more time in the OC and Newport offices. So maybe he'll be on the OC show. Maybe. And um, I wrote he's throwing her the fucking lions. Christine is not gonna love this nope. at all. And Jason says, "Well, it's a win-win." And she Mary's like, "Oh, okay, that'll be great." So y'all, they're all coming in the office. Christine comes in, or he, Jason tells him Christine will be coming in. And so Emma's got to move desks. And Chriselle's like, ooh. And y'all, you would think that they asked her to, uh, that she was being evicted from her house. They would, but. Because desks are so territorial in this place. But Jason doesn't fucking care because he knows Christine and says, uh, she just had a fucking baby. If I don't let her back in the desk, she'll sue me for all that is worth under California law and she'll win. And Emma's like, it's okay. When I have kids, I'll come back and get my desk. Exactly. I don't like to when Amanda comes. Take Amanda and says, Amanda comes and is like, that's my desk. (laughs) No, they are so, you haven't watched it for a long time, but they're so territorial about their desks. They had to move desks for a while. Those crappy restoration hardware desks. Well, they're not crappy. They're actually, they don't look pretty, but they're very expensive. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm sure they're expensive. So restoration hardware, their stuff is gorgeous, but God, it's overpriced. Ridiculous. So I did sit on a friend who has a restoration hard uh, hardware. Sit on couch. a friend. I did that too. Um, but their couch is re- and I have to say, it's the most comfortable couch I've ever sat on. Interesting. So anyway, Brett's like, so uh, Chriselle, I'm gonna need an update on that house on Maple Drive, and then and in- everybody goes. Huh? And in the back of the room, you hear some <laughs> shuffling and some lumbering, <laughs> and you go, wait, 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 what, wait what's what? that? What's, what's that? that? So, 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 can I see that house? Where's that house? And Davina speaks up, um, and y'all, y'all she's million, like, because like, remember the ten million dollar house that he gave her. It's like, wait, why is Chriselle getting I'm these curious. listings? I'm curious that he chose her. Why is Chriselle getting these listings? I think there's a little bit of favoritism, but sure. And that's the beginning of her new drama. New drama. Um, y'all, this 
this real estate office sounds like a hen house until the wolf walks in. Ooh. Christine walks in and it's just. And she's looking. This looks like a discarded outfit from, from Madonna's Blonde Ambition Tour. Yes. It, but it's great. Don't get me wrong. Basically, for someone who just had a baby three months ago, she's saying, yeah, I snapped Look back. Look at me. I just want to say, for sissies that are going through childbirth right now, this show is not a good show <laughs> for body images nope. at all. Please do not look at this show as expectations for you and, and your body. Don't let it. Don't let this. I, I would like say if you can watch it with knowing that it's not reality. No, this is not reality, and no one in your life who loves you, and we, no one expects for you to be like this. Don't put yourself right. Don't. These are not aspirational people. These are people to treat these people like candy. I, I was going to say, I think a lot of people can do that because um, I don't want to talk down to our listeners and think that they would not. No, I don't that. think so. I know. I'm just saying. Um, just saying. Because uh, I think some people did talk about that last season. We did. They were like, oh my God, I can't believe Christine and baby. And well, I'm like, I'd like to say that this is your life, which is real. And every and also not very exciting. Not selling sunset. Our lives aren't even exciting. We live in Los Angeles. Yes, this is that, not Los Angeles that, life. That is a reality show, dramatized. Like, y'all, that office is rarely open unless they're filming. Yeah, that's true. Hand to God. They 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 don't so they don't go into work. That's, they don't need to go into work. That's made up. Yes, your life is real. Yes, don't compare yourself to something that's made up. I'm glad it's we simple. say this. I think I know, but I think you never know when someone needs to hear it. True. But so Christine walks in and it's just quiet. And Jason even says, This is the first time the office has been quiet. And then then they like Chriselle, it's so classic. Chriselle starts a conversation talking to somebody else about something she picked a well, topic. And Christine doesn't talk with any of those women anymore. No. And doesn't have a relationship with Heather, not Mary. They're kind of just talking about random shit. Amanda, Amanda, is it Amanda? Either one. I think Amanda. She starts talking, y'all, she auditioned to be a pussycat doll. At 31. And I love love this story. Um, She said it was the most embarrassing day of her life. And and then at one point, she's like, that's like when I was trying to, I I thought when I hear that Harry Styles song when I was on Dancing with the Stars, who does that as a Viennese waltz? And and who can do that? And Christine goes, I can. I can. Again, y'all. Their water cooler talk is about when I was on Dancing with the Stars. This isn't real life. It's not. It's not. Yeah, but and that's why it's wonderful. And that's why Christine just saying, I mean, and kind of even under her breath, like I can. And you see that who was it that reacted to her? It was uh uh Chriselle, but also oh, that's when we see Mary's eyes go. Yep. <laughs> and that's when Y'all, Jason. Even when Christine walks in, by the way, Mary just puts her head down and she's just. Mary does this thing where she always puts her head down and her eyes go way open. Yeah. Y'all, and Jason announces Mary as the managing partner and Christine's face. Her eyes just kind of. She rolls her eyes, but it's also kind of like. Almost the look I saw in her eyes was, I'm done. Well. It is my control is and my ability to manipulate and. And uh, intimidate people is slipping away from me. And so she leaves. And there's also an element of hurt and her, weird. And really randomly, she literally just packs her stuff and leaves. <gasps> Why we're just kind of talking. So cinematic. And she just kind of, they're like, people are really leaving. And she just says, she waves bye to Amanda. Amanda, because she's, she's like, bye, Amanda. And then she walks out. She says, congratulations, Mary. And that's the end. Episode. And that's the end of the episode. Question for you. Fade to black. Would Christine Quinn ever go somewhere else to do real estate? Yes, but only if she had a more high prestigious uh, status. Well, when you say status, because to me, I feel like it's not about, I think if it wasn't for the show, she 100% would work somewhere else. So it's like, would she go somewhere I feel like she would only go somewhere if she knew there was going to be a show or camera crews following uh, yes. her. Yes. Oh. Oh. You mean? Oh. I think wherever she goes, the shows the shows following her. So you think if she went to another farm, this the show, show would, would follow still, her? Yeah, I would hope. Uh, they would never not do. Who's that. the show besides her and Chriselle? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's Christine, Chriselle, 
Who else? Yeah, kind of Mary sometimes, but not really. Maybe. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Ooh, y'all. So this was episodes one and two. If you're interested in listening until this show came out, all episodes are out today except for there was a reunion on May 9th or 6th or something like that. Two weeks from Two weeks from now. So that'll come. So we'll be covering that too. So we're going to start busting our way through these. This is, um, I think now, you're listening today, we put out the first four episodes. So, and we're going to be busting out more as quickly as we can. But they're all going to be on the $5 tier of the Supercast and Patreon it's wonderful. It's a wonderful show. It's a wonderful. It's just cotton candy. Put. I'm telling you, you. It time will become elastic when you watch this show. Y'all. You'll look up and say, "Oh my god, it's seven o'clock and my kids haven't had dinner. Fuck them. They can eat macaroni and cheese. Make them some goodles. Goodles. Oh, that's a, they're good. It's the new. Um, it's the new Gal Gadot did that. She was a brand about, it, but it's like actually healthy box macaroni and cheese, and they're good. Riveting. There you go. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's the show. That's the show. What was our sign off for this? I don't know. Did we have one? We had to have had one. So, you know what? We're we are too busy. We've got too many shows to cover. Tell us what our sign. Tell off us is. what our sign off is, and we'll see you next. What's episode. our sign off? I don't remember. I'm. I don't know. I don't know either. We'll see, we'll you, see you next, next week, y'all. Bye. So much more than I try to build tonight